we live? Yes. Good afternoon. Bit of a later one than normal, as I ended up running to the session this morning, as I forgot the keys. Anyway, ran back and got them, and we are all good. So anyway, just wanted to come on and talk about a conversation I had earlier, which was about... With one of the ladies, and like I always say, I always share stuff that is actually relevant to what people actually, relevant to what actually people say to me. So one of the ladies, she um, said in the session that she didn't have the best day yesterday. So she, because she ate when she was tired, so she was tired, felt tired and was kind of beating herself up with it. Okay, she was beating herself up with it and going, you know what, I'm a, I'm a little bit tired. I'm not feeling too good. Why am I not feeling too good? Why am I tired? So she decided to have some food to see if it will perk her up. Had some food, ate, still felt tired. Had a nap, still felt tired. And her thought process then, hey Sally, her thought process was then, I'm tired, why am I tired? Arguing with reality, okay? So arguing with reality, why am I tired, why am I tired? Then eat some more, still tired. And the lesson there, and she said this, which is great. And as I always say, I always share things that are actually real. She said that it actually proved to me that when I'm tired and I think that I should eat to build my energy, to get my blood sugar levels up, whatever you kind of want to describe it, boost my metabolism, it doesn't actually work. And that's quite liberating actually, because it's not a failure, it's actually just evidence. And the more you write that down, how did you feel after you did it? Because remember, what if, and I'm gonna say this now, what if how you feel right now is exactly how you're supposed to feel? What if how you're feeling right now is exactly how you're supposed to feel? And actually, you just need to respond to that. So actually, if I'm tired, consider, maybe it's because I've done more exercise than normal. Maybe it's because I've had a lot on and I haven't slept too well. At the same time, consider how much you've done for you because your state and your mood is directly impacted by what you say and what you think and what you believe at that time. And I say this as last week we had Dr. Adam Bibian who did a live Q&A and we touched on music and some of the research in and how music can impact your mood, how the way you feel. Like, you listen to your favourite song, I guarantee you feel better. Maybe you start to think back to good times in your life, memories, happy memories, people you spent it with, and all of a sudden it can change the way you feel a little bit. You put a fast-paced music on, it's shown to help feelings of strength, feeling strong. People tend to have more motivation to exercise with certain music than others, higher tempo music. And isn't it powerful just how a song can change the way you feel quite instantly? So sometimes we need to actually just look at really simple things we can do in that moment. Simple triggers that will change our state. Put on your favourite song. I have no motivation, I'm tired. Put on your favourite song. Treat yourself. Have it. Because if you're like me, like so for me, if I do nothing, if I say I'm going to relax and I say I do no I'm going to do nothing, I'll just create problems or I'll probably end up just doing not relaxing at all. I'll, I'll just do more stuff. Whereas if I plan something in, like I spoke about the other day, which is a, uh, called a space mask. It's like an eye mask, which heats up. It's really good. Heats up your eyes. But it means I'm doing something. I'm not just sitting there like, you know, whatever, doing whatever. I'm actually, I feel like I'm doing something. This relaxes me. This is in my diary then. So I'm like, right, meditation. Or, right, I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to dance around with the kids. <laughs> whatever it is. Little simple things that can completely change the way you feel. And it's just a reminder that one, no matter how you feel, you are in control of your behaviour. No matter how you feel, you are in control of your behaviour. And that's liberating to know. So, I hope that helps. And any questions, as always, do let me know. Our 28-day kickstart is starting from Monday. We have a flexible start date either next Monday or the Monday after. So if you want more details on that, that's Devizes, Marlborough, or you can do everything from home. I hope that helps. So any questions as always, let me know. We are, we have got our boxing session tonight, which is 
our boxing box and bums with some core workout in as well. So I shall leave you there as I'm off to put these up. Yeah, the scan. So any questions, let me know. Speak soon and take care.